What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we're back with another Marvel Snap video. And this is going to be a quick one, but I am super, super, super excited, all right? There's a big announcement, and there's something else really cool that a buddy showed me for Marvel Snap. It's this new tool that all of you will love, I promise you. So let's jump into it. But before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. I also go by Bootman. And if you love Marvel Snap as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. I love discussing strategy, different decks, different cards, updates around the game, all sorts of fun stuff. So you don't wanna miss out on that. And we're trying to hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of the month. You can help me do that and I'll provide you with amazing Marvel Snap content. And you can join our Discord community linked down in the description below. Uh, we have a bunch of cool channels in there. We talk about decks, all sorts of fun stuff. We even have a little channel where you can post your wins against Leader, the most annoying card in the game. And follow me on Twitter at BootmanMSTZ if you want to be part of our monthly giveaways for the season pass. All right, but let's jump into it. All right, so the first bit of news is right here. So Marvel Snap tweeted this out earlier today. Heads up for all players ending the Savage Land season at infinite rank or above, we'll be sending you a special gold card back via your inbox. Good luck and friendly reminder that the season ends in two weeks. All right, this is huge. And I wanted to make a video and discuss it. I have criticized the hell out of Marvel Snap. A bunch of different things, a bunch of other creators have, you in the community have but I feel it is important to give credit when credit is due. Something that I've been saying is I came in way after the Nexus event, all right? I've been playing, you know, uh, a couple months now. I started around like midway through the symbiote season, all right? And everybody says like, oh, Second Dinner listens. They listen to the community. They listen to the community. Look at the Nexus event. And I'm like, well, since I've started playing, I haven't seen them listen to anything, okay? So I wanted to give credit where credit is due. This is big. I've talked about this before. People are upset about infinite rank. They're not feeling motivated, you know? And one of the reasons is because of what you get at infinite rank. The last two seasons, it's been a title. And that's why I said in my last video, I'm like, are they really listening? This was one of the biggest complaints was that there was a title for the end of season uh, or the top rank reward for when you hit infinite rank. And I'm like, I, I still don't get it. I don't know what it is. I'm a psychology nerd and I don't understand, but people would rather have a card back than a title. And I'm just like, you guys, just make a card back. It could be the simplest, silliest card back. And that's what they did. Like, look at this thing. Look at this thing. It is the regular card back, but it has like a gold rim. Like that is nothing. And this is being so well received. It's just like, you guys, we are not hard to please just give us a freaking card back, you know? So I'm super happy that they did this. It probably didn't take them too much time, too many resources, and they just put it in there. So second dinner, I thank you. And I will be keeping tabs because when they do stuff like this, we gotta hand it to them. All right, so next up, this other thing I wanna show you. If you're a PC player, there's a very cool tool my buddy just showed me, and it's uh, from this website, what is it, Unite? No, 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 untapped.gg, okay? So this is the website, untapped.gg. Looks like they do a bunch of card games and stuff like that. So you go to the Marvel Snap section right here, okay? And they have a little tool that you can get. Download the companion app. So I have the snap.fan app, but look at this. Look at this thing. So for the PC version, do you see this up here? Let me Let me show you this. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. There we go. All right, now you can see my mouse. There we go. So up here, it keeps track of your deck, but it also shows you which cards were discarded or destroyed. Like how annoying is it when you like blink and you don't see what was discarded, right? Or Sokovia comes out and it discards a card and you don't see it, right? This keeps track of all of that. And it also shows you which cards you've played, which cards are in your hand and which cards are still in your deck. It's super cool. All right, so what I did was I just put together a discard deck real quick. I don't I don't know if it's good. I'm like, I just grabbed it off snapped off fan because I don't have any discard decks right now to play around with. So I just wanted to show you this real quick, just so you get a little, a little taste, a little taste of this. So we'll play one game and I got something that's gonna discard a bunch of cards, whatever. And uh, just so you can see how this thing looks. Like it's super cool. So uh, this like, I guess it's like pulling from Steam or whatever, but also at their website, um, oh, I put Ebony Ma in Sinister London. Why is, put, put Ebony Ma in this deck. 
Well, I guess I guess it's all right if you have Hella, all right. But whatever. Um. So there you go, Ebony Ma. I found a, I found a home for you. Uh, <laughs> uh. But yeah, hold on. What was I saying? I don't remember what. Oh, both Icemen? Both Icemen just hit Swordmaster. What did he do to you? Oh, anyways, at the um, untapped.gg site, it links up to your account. Look, boom. Sokovia, did I not say? Now look, right here. Look right there. Infinite showed up. How sick is that? How sick is that? And then what? This is going to discard my Hell Cow? I don't want to discard my Hell Cow. Eh, let's discard a couple things. Um, so you can go there and it reads what, uh, what cards you have, um, in your deck. Oh yeah. Look. And then it even shows you what's added to your deck. I played one where it, um, it had, uh, what was it? The, the vibranium mines and it showed <laughs> the 15 million that were added to my deck. What else is in this? All right. So, so look right here, the highlighted cards, which is weird. I think they should reverse it, but the highlighted cards are still in my, uh, in my hand. Um, kind of cool. Guess I don't need to put hell over there. Eh, well, let's spread out some power. Let's spread out some power. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Look, Hell how just discarded We come back. Then we get that, and then we get our Giganto. What's up? That was kind of cool. Things did not work out the way I wanted them to, but that was kind of cool how I did that since the second Hella was like coming in. But anyways, anyways, you guys see that? And then look, destroyed too, so I can click on destroyed and Vormir did that, you know, whatever. I just want to show you that. I want to make a little quick, quick little video and show you this neat little tool. It's very cool seeing what people um, are able to do with this game. Uh, the main thing that I'm waiting for now is like more stats, better stats and everything. One of the issues is, is that sometimes you're playing on your phone, sometimes you're playing on your PC. It's all a hot mess. It's a hot mess. I wish it just, I wish like they made something that just pulled it from your account or these guys were able to figure out a way to link it to your actual account account, right? And it was just feeding all that data. Maybe that's something that, you know, I'm not, I'm no dev, I'm no coder, but like, I'm kind of like, I don't know, is it an API or something? You dev people, you can tell me. Anyways, cool little tool and you're getting the infinite uh, card back. Um, I don't know if that comes like at the end of the season. Oh yeah, it'll be cool when they fix this on Steam too, huh? But uh, I don't know when that card back's coming, but like I said, like I said, second dinner, we're easy to please. We're gamers, we just like shiny things. Give us a card back with a little gold little rim. We'll get out of your hair for at least a week or two. All right, we'll calm down about the lack of getting new cards and stuff like that. And the last thing I'll say, cause I'm not gonna make a whole video on this. You guys, you guys, like quit making excuses for why you're losing. You don't need series five cards, okay? They're fun and they're shiny, but you don't need them. All right, I retweeted this and I, uh, yeah. Somebody said, uh, would rather play against leader than pay to win Darkhawk LMAO. Right? Like, listen, listen, like, this is survivorship bias, okay? So fun little story about survivorship bias. Uh, I forgot the names of everything like that, but it was like World War II, right? These planes were uh, getting shot down. All these planes are getting shot down, right? They bring in this mathematician, like, yo, we need you to help us figure out how to redesign our planes so they quit getting shot down. So they, all the planes that survived, they bring them in and there's bullet holes all over the plane. So they're like, okay, here's where the planes are getting shot. We need to reinforce these areas. And the guy's like, well, no, because these planes are surviving, all right? We need to look at the planes that didn't make it back. Clearly, they're getting shot in other areas, and those are the places that we need to strengthen. This is where survivorship bias comes around, all right? We're only thinking about what we see. We're not thinking about what we don't see. So I was saying that Darkhawk, that whole situation with these Series 5 cards and everything, that's survivorship bias. You're losing to Darkhawk every now and then, but you're not seeing all of the times that Darkhawk is not played, all right? I've put up videos of me playing Darkhawk and how the deck has gone downhill for me. And I, you know, after my first losing streak, there are so many times that I just retreat from games because my Darkhawk is absolutely 
absolutely useless, all right? So quit making excuses. There are no broken Series 5 cards that you cannot beat with a Series 3 deck, I promise you. If you're getting into your head and saying like, oh, I can't get infinite, oh, I can't get this brand new shiny card back because you don't have Series 5 cards, you're full of it and you're making excuses. And it's going to turn into a self-fulfilling prophecy where you think that you cannot win without these cards. And it is wrong. It is false, okay? There are plenty of people who have climbed to infinite without those cards, and I promise that you can do it too if you get out of your head and quit thinking that the only way you're gonna win is with some of these cards. Yeah, they're fun, yeah, they're new, yeah, they're different, but there's been plenty of times when I've just put Darkhawk away because the fool was not winning me game. That's it for that rant, all right? So exciting news, check out untap.gg if you got a PC and you're playing on Steam, okay? And yeah, that's all I got for this video. I'll be back tomorrow with some more good stuff, maybe test out some new decks, all right? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Help us get to 7,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Join our Discord server down in the description below. Follow me on Twitter at BootmanMSTZ if you wanna be part of the monthly giveaways for the season pass. And yeah, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you next time.